Hi everybody. Now that I'm standing in front of this mic that I've grown an affinity for, I don't want to let it go because it's just so damn cool looking. And I notice everybody used to have them in their videos because this mic says microphone and uh, it's got to be what, what, like 50, 60, 70 years old? Wow. Wowie, and the ribbon in there loves voices. So the old time announcers sounded particularly cool with these. Um, faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's Superman, strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman, who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend steel in his bare hands, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. And that's what these things were meant for, a guy to come up and belt, like Walter Winchell was one of those guys. He was a radio guy in the 30s and 40s, and he used to go, Flash, Mr. and Mrs. American, all the ships at sea. Uh, he, you know, and he used to narrate a show called The Untouchables, uh, which I used to love, came from the old days, and uh, he was the narrator, and he'd say, It was St. Valentine's Day in a warehouse on Chicago's east side, you know. He was, everything was urgent, and, and I found out why these guys appeared like they had a board up their ass, because they weren't used to being photographed, and, they, and when microphones first came out, everybody went way out of their way to talk like this, so that everybody would understand you, and you know, they, they didn't sound so loosey-goosey like announcers are now, but uh, one of my favorite announcers from that time was a guy named Jackson Beck. And he played Bluto in the Popeye cartoons. You know, it's like, Are you Bluto? Are you little runt? You little sissy? And, um, oh, he was in Little Caesar's Pizza commercials, you know. Not, not the little Roman that went, Pizza, pizza. It was, uh, Jackson Beck was the, You can get a crazy eight topping with every purchase. And he had the voice of the world. That voice used to give me the shivers. And another guy was Art Gilmore super famous announcer that you'd never hear of, but everybody called him, everybody knew him, and he was mighty. He passed away like a couple, few years ago. I wanted to meet him, but it's not gonna happen. So whenever somebody says they wanna meet me, I, I'll show up at a convention and you're welcome to come up and talk about anything you want. So there.